In this video, we are going to talk about competitive landscape and Rival IQ. Rival IQ is a Seattle based social media competitive analytics service provider. And through this video, we are going to learn how to create a competitive landscape in Rival IQ and how to download social media analytics reports in PDF, PPT, and Excel format from your Rival IQ account. Now for this particular example purpose we are going to use three companies and among these three companies one company I am going to use as my client company and other two companies as competitor one and competitor two. My client company for this example is stila.com and competitor one is bubblebud.com and competitor two is chloe and isabel.com now one thing you need to remember that whenever you are uh, planning to perform a, a self performance analysis or competitive analysis for any social media profile it's always better to have the have a list of all the URLs not only for your your company's website URL but also the URLs for each and every company's social profile. For example, I prefer to have this list in a notepad. You can use Word document or Excel to create such list. You can see in this example that this is my client company website URL and I have Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube URL for my client's company. Like that I have the URL for my computer 1 and my computer 2 and their respective Facebook, Pinterest and their other social profiles URL listed and saved in a notepad document. So whenever I am going to perform a, a, an analysis using any tool like Rival IQ or, or any other tool, I can just copy this and paste that in the algorithm and it's going to make your life easy so when you log in to your rival IQ account you are going to get redirected to your social media analytics dashboard and the dashboard is going to look like this When you first log into your Rival IQ dashboard, you get an option to create or set up your account. And in this particular step, you need to enter your client's company's website URL in this particular search box. And once you do that and click this search option, then Rival IQ algorithm searches for all the social media profile associated with this particular website URL and gives you the search result and after showing you the search result rival iq ask you whether you are satisfied with that search result or not and if you are satisfied then you need to click this yes that's it button and which is going to take you to the next step of this particular competitive landscape setting option In the next step, Rival IQ gives you the option to input the website URL for your competitors. Now you can see over here, it has already recognized this particular company as your client's company and you can set up another five competitors for this particular company but for this particular example purpose we are going to use only two options or two competitors and we are going to show that how you can perform a competitive analysis using rival IQ now previously I have told you that how you need to create a list of URLs for your all the websites in a notepad or Word document or in an Excel document so that you can just copy this URL and paste them into this search box so that the process will be very easy for you. Now in this particular step you just need to copy this particular link and paste that into this search box 
and driver iq is going to search for all the social media profile associated with this link and you need to just check and click yes that's it and you just need to just repeat this process one more time to make sure that you add all your competitors in this particular landscape and after that you just have to click i am finished with adding my competitors and go forward with rival iq options and go to the final stage of getting all the social media analytics report from rival iq now once you do that <clears throat> you get an option in rival iq to give a name to your landscape and you can select anything any name for your landscape for this particular example purpose we are using this name for our landscape now after giving the name to your landscape you need to click this particular option call start using rival iq so that rival iq can take you to your social media analytics dashboard and this particular dashboard looks like this now this is your rival iq social media analytics dashboard and you can see that your companies are listed over here this is your client company or my client company and this is competitor one and competitor two and rival iq has automatically detected their twitter profile facebook profile g plus youtube and instagram profiles now from this list one important thing we need to understand is that we are not going to analyze all five uh, social profiles because only three profiles are common in between these three companies twitter facebook and instagram so from this list we can understand one very important thing that is and that is stellar and dot com has google plus presence as well as youtube presence and that is an added advantage for this particular company okay the but but bubble bar does not have youtube presence and chloe and isabel does not have google plus and youtube presence so for this analysis process we are going to concentrate in twitter facebook and instagram so come over to this particular area where you can find this cross channel first option if you go there you will get all the details report about all the entire social media platform including all these five social media profiles okay and this is how you are going to get the report and from this particular option over here you can select that you just want to see your clients company's performance or you want to see on all, all the company's performance in this particular report okay and you can also select the number of days like seven days or 30 days and if you go for their premium option then you can uh, see the reports up to 90 days time okay so for this example purpose we are going to use 30 days option now when you come over here let us see how you can get twitter reports you can see that this is the twitter uh, in a it's a overview for your Twitter performance for your company and your competitive landscape over here we are going to discuss all these uh, metrics and uh, and this how to create this kind of bar charts uh, in, in 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 later stage uh, videos now to download the report in pdf excel format if you can see that from here you can download as ppt pdf and png but not in in excel or csv format okay to download the the report in a csv format you need to come over uh, here which called detail metrics for twitter when you come here you will get various kind of metrics or charts and and reports about the twitter landscape and these three companies now when you come over here in export option for this detail metrics uh, 
link you will get an option to download this report in a csv format okay and for each and every option you will get this this option to download this report as csv now when you do that let me show you the next step when you do that for example if you want to download this as a pdf let me download this as a pdf format and just wait for a few seconds and the download will start automatically and here is the download so when you are going to click that your PDF report the PDF format report will open and you need to come here and save this report as PDF but remember how you are going to categorize this thing because there will be a number of of reports in various types of format like PDF or or uh, uh, Excel so it's it's very easy for you to get confused so what you need to do is you need to categorize your saving options so for this particular example purpose I have created a folder called rival IQ Stella dot landscape Stella dot was uh, my landscape name and when I go inside this I have this three social media platform and for Twitter I have PDF report option and where I am going to save this in the same way when you come back and and export this report as uh, PPT or CSV if you go back and see my link I have three different folders for three different types of of reports that I'm going to download from rival IQ and I'm going to save this report in each folder so that in later stage when I want to have a review of the reports I can easily find each and every report without any confusion so in the same way when you want to download the CSV file for the Twitter uh, followers you can download that just open it and come here save as go to rival IQ Stella dot landscape Twitter Excel reports and save in the same way you can download each and every report in a PPT, PDF, PNG or CSV which is Excel format for Twitter metrics and when you come to this Facebook area the first report that you are going to see is the overview and if you come to the export area you can see that there is no CSV download option or from each uh, individual reporting uh, export option there is no CSV download option but if you come again in the detail metrics area where you will get separate charts and reports for each indicators like page like page like percentage change etc and if you click this export option you will find this uh, excel download option and remember you need to categorize and segregate each and every metric CSV file or PNG file or PDF file or PPT file according to the format and save it separately in a folder inside your comp computer so that in later stage when we are going to create our own customized report it will be very easy for you to find each and every report and categorize them according to your need okay because this data that you are downloading that is provided by rival IQ that might not be according to your need or your 
your client's requirement because rival iq has a pre-defined algorithm say to download data from social media that might not be according to the long-term or short-term goals of your clients or your own company so you need to make sure that you download this data and save this data in a separate separate format and separate separate folder okay so this is it for this particular tutorial and in next topic we are going to discuss about how to create this kind of reports like page likes and this kind of bar charts uh, for page like percentage change what is the definition of page like performance change what is average post per day how to calculate these numbers and uh, all these uh, mathematical equations and excel equations now you need to remember one thing that this particular report is your descriptive analytics rival iq is showing you what has happened inside the social profiles of these three companies and this is the description of that past performance uh, of these companies for last 30 days okay so this is the example of descriptive analytics which is the first step of your social media analytical itinerary okay so see you in the next topic video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.